Hi babes, welcome back to my channel and to... Should I really be wearing this? Ah, oh, I'm wearing this. It's my Star Wars PJs and I don't use it as a PJs because I like it too much so I'm wearing it as a t-shirt. <laughs> Is that okay? Don't answer that. Only if it's yes. If it's yes, you can answer that. I'm gonna bring you now my favorite lip products of 2018. And I gathered them all up this morning because I had them in my head and I gathered them up and it's eight. I was gonna do this. This this is eight. Stop it. It's eight. And my criteria for making this video is I was not gonna include shade extensions because uh, some of my favorite formulas has gotten more shades this year that I really love. For example, the NYX uh, liquid lingeries. I love those. They they got more shades and I love those as well. The H&M um, lipsticks had several shades during this year that was limited edition. They were amazing, but I mean the lipsticks were already available since before so I didn't include them. So uh, like the same for the um, uh, satin lipsticks. What are they called? The ultra satin lip. The Colourpop ones, those had new shades this year, really love those, but the formula isn't new so I'm not including them. These are formulas that are new and I'm showing you some of my favourite colours. One of these might not be a new formula, but the impression I got from where I bought when I bought it and from seeing it online after is that it actually is a new formula. I'm also going to show you my favorite colors within these and some of them now that I swatched them I'm like oh I haven't worn this for a bit even though they're my favorites because I just have too many lippies but all of the colors that I now brought out I actually put them in a pouch and I was like you know what these are the colors that I'm going to use now for a bit because I really really like these. So let's start with the one the product that I mentioned in my I did it get ready with me using my favorite products of 2018 and in that video I used these. These are the uh, Colorish Shine by L'Oreal. I have two colors that I mentioned in that video. This is the one that I used in that video. That is the light beige. This is like a glossy formula in a stick. This is Steel the, Ch the Shine. The Shine somebody and then the fourth other one that I mentioned in that video is a shot of sun it's a beautiful glossy somewhat see-through peachy coral it's absolutely stunning and then a color that I also wanted to mention that I didn't mention in that video but I have been using this a lot as well I even fetched this out of my purse now before filming this uh, and oh this is why is, why does this have why does everything have dog hair on it okay this is hot IRL uh, it is a cool toned beige it turns glossy and somewhat see-through on the lips but it's a totally beautiful color let me see if I can swatch it this is how it looks on the lips absolutely stunning so this is also one of my favorite colors I think that these smell like a tropical fruit I know some people don't love the smell of these but I think they smell very fruity and I really like it something else that was released this year which is probably the lip product that surprised me the most in a positive way. I've had some lip products surprise me in a very negative way. Let me tell you that, but it was the NYX Soft Matte Metallic Lip Creams. I did a full swatching video with all of the colors here on my channel because I was so surprised at how good these are. This is Can. Let me see if I can... They are not like full... I even have a... This is a Ronnie Cosmetics uh, Henna and Tattoo on my lips and th these are similar like uh, what should I say? Like finish. They are like gently metallic. <laughs> like these are the colors right here. As you can see, they're not super metallic. They just have a bit of a sheen to them. They're just so pretty on the lips and I really like how these wear, how these feel and how these look. This one can and the darker one was Madrid. I think that these two were my two favorites. This beautiful like cool tone burgundy was super beautiful on the lips. Really, really enjoyed this formula and I'm happy I pulled these out of my collection now to use them again because I think they're so beautiful. Um, let me talk about these. When I was doing my Best of Beauty 2018 video, I was contemplating if I was going to use this one or the uh, L'Oreal Colorish Shine. But I decided to do the Colorish Shine because I have been using that formula a tad more. But the Linda Halberg Fantastics are definitely a runner-up for the most used lip product of 2018. I love these. These are my two favorite colors. This is Ametrine. It is a bit similar to that hot IRL. It just has a bit of purple in it as well. Super beautiful. This is also a glossy lip formula, which is 
definitely my thing. And then it's just a light beige you can see almost like this, but just a neutral, neutral beige pinky color. It's not a beige, it's more of a beige pinky color. And it's called Pink Opal. Love both of these. These are multi-use products. You can use them on your cheeks as well. Personally, I, I, I'll i get so annoyed if I have anything that's not totally set on my face. It's just pet peeve of mine. I need to be able to touch my face and not get stuck. Like, I can't have dewy things on my skin. I can't have cream things that doesn't entirely dry down. So I'll go crazy. But if you love that, I've seen others wear these as blushes and it looks absolutely beautiful. It's just not for me because I know I will not be able to handle it. Another thing that was a favorite, and I think this was a favorite for a lot of people this year. And I got this sent to me in a, like, a care box when I did a makeup exchange with Georgia Harris. And it's the French Press Lip Glosses by Bite. She sent me the two colors that I really wanted and I'm so excited. It is French Press and Flat White. This is basically a dark brown glossy lip and this is a very milky light light beige. They're both glosses. What am I talking about? Super beautiful. I love the smell of these. I love coffee but they don't smell like straight up like super coffee but there is a there is a hint of coffee in there in a very good way and I like that. I think it's very nice. These are very pretty on the lips without anything under. They're very pretty on the lips with something under as well. Stop it. Stop it. And I just like these overall. You have seen both of these in tutorials on my channel if you want to see. If you want to see how any of these look on my channel, I do have videos showing all of these. You can always just uh, type the name of the product in the search bar on a channel's homepage. There is a little, um, what's it called? I always forget. Uh, it's called a, not a looking glass, it's called a Magnifying glass. Wow. The magnifying glass on the channel's homepage, if you press that and you search for whatever you want to see a video on, it will show you um, videos where the creator has done something with that. So you can see all of these things in videos on my channel. The next thing I want to mention, and I think that a lot of people will agree that this was a good launch this year, and it is the Colourpop Luxe lipsticks. I love these but I don't love all of them. Some of the lighter ones, uh, Tiptoe for example, Uno Mas, they leave a white rim around my lips, but not everyone does that. It's just some of the very lighter ones. I'm guessing they're more white based. I think that this is beautiful. The This is What's Your Sign. It's the one that uh, Kathleen Lights did. I've only used this twice and I wanna bring it out again. I have been using the Lux lipsticks a lot and I think that this is my most used one. It's Pinkies Up, it is more of a or me, it's like a mid-tone brownie beige nude. Uh, all of these are cream formulas because that's the one I love the most. And I also really love this one. This is Foolish. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I did receive the Pinkies Up as PR, but the other two I bought myself. I do receive a little PR from Colourpop, but definitely not all of the things. I think that this formula is beautiful, especially uh, the creamy one. It's absolutely beautiful. It wears really pretty. It's just some of the very lightest colors that don't wear that good on me. I haven't heard ev everyone having this I'm gonna say problem because it's fixable. If you see it, you can just rub it out and it's gone. But some of the lightest colors, especially Tiptoe and Uno Mas, did get that white rim on me. But the other ones are so beautiful that I can forgive those two colors. That What's Your Sign, I brought it here as a favorite because I think it's one of the best colors. Unfortunately, I've only worn it twice. So that's definitely going on the list of things that I need to be wearing again real soon. I'm gonna mention the thing that I'm not... 100% sure that this is a new formula of 2018 because it's the one I bought in Japan and Japanese is not my forte but it was out on the stand like you know how you put makeup that's new in like the middle aisle on the, the little cardboard stand and when I read up on this product on the internet it seemed like it was a new product. Don't know if it's new from 2018, it could be new from 2017, I don't know. But it's new to me and I've never seen anything like this. Um, it's very well used. It's basically, let me see if I can show you. This is so smeary, I don't know what I'm trying to show you. It is a, like a crystal, it's like a balmy crystal around and then it's like a colored inside. And I have mine in OR262. It's basically a very soft, uh, rusty orange with the gloss around. It also turns into a glossy lipstick, but it 
does soak into the lips and leaves a more of a satin finish, like if you were to actually have a balm that's colored, but it gives you a bit of an ombre effect. And when everything wears out, there's still a tint on your lips. Ooh, this is so good. I don't know. I think it's called Visay. I will put it down below uh, what it's actually called because all of the signs on this is in Japanese and I keep forgetting what it's called, but I'll put it down below. I did order more of these in October, but the postal service, shocker, actually did lose my package. And I bought it from Jess Style and they were amazing customer service and they sent another package to me. At least they said they did. I still haven't received it. Shipping things from Asia does take some time, but I think I ordered two more colors uh, and I'm super excited to be trying those as well. I think this is very in innovative. I think it's very pretty. I think it's a very approachable way to embrace some of the more Asian uh, makeup styles with the inverted ombre lips because yeah, I saw when I was there, I saw a lot of people have that beautiful ombre lip when it's darkest in the middle and then fades out to light. You know, in here in the Western culture, we do it darkest in the rim and then fades into light. They did the opposite. It's super beautiful. And that is what this one gives. And I think it's so pretty. And if you ever see this, something like this in a store, I actually highly suggest picking it up if it's within your budget and trying it out because I just bought it on the whim, but I really, really have been enjoying it and I'm so looking forward to have some more shades because I think it's absolutely stunning. Something that I've mentioned on my channel that I really thought that this was a good launch and a good formula is the NYX um, Suede Matte Lipsticks. They did have the liquid suede. That's not my preferred formula. I actually really despise the liquid suede. On me, they are drying without actually drying out and they're a bit sticky on the lips. I I just, I, I did not like that formula. Uh, it wasn't for me. I've heard others love it, but for me, n no, I'll pass. But I was sent, um, I was sent a bunch of these colors in PR from NYX in uh, Nord NYX Nordics. And then I actually bought two colors myself because I was like, I really love this formula. I want to try more shades. Um, I think that all three of these shades I've used on my channel. If you want to see me swatch these, I totally could actually. Let me know if you would like to see me swatches or maybe even the luxe lipsticks. I don't have everyone, but I do have some. Like, let me know. I do love uh, filming uh, videos like that. They're so smooth. This is the Violet Smoke. They're so smooth and even, and they are like what I would call a comfort mat. They don't like totally dry down. I can see that there is like a velvet or like a suede, a suede shine to them. There's something like alive in the formula, in the texture, but it is most definitely a matte and it does come with corresponding lip liners. Those are also absolutely amazing. I've been using it both with this formula and others. Those lip liners are so great. This is Munchies. This is a very cool tone, gray, grayishy brown. It's a it's a mid-tone brown with a lot of gray in it. Super beautiful. Oh, I've also used this um, in a video. And this this is Dainty Days. Uh, I don't think I've used this. I've used this um, like on on its own. It is a light peachy nude. If you love a peachy nude, this is a very light peachy nude. It's absolutely beautiful. They do have some other really nice mattes as well. Uh, I think that this one together with the let me see how this. With the flat white lip gloss would be so pretty. Oh yeah, I would love this. I would love this. These are just very, on me, comfortable and opaque and just glides on so good and just, I don't know, this is like, this formula is how I see others apply like the Path McGrath formula. I'm not saying that this is the same quality. I'm just saying that if you look at the, let me see if I can show you. If you look at how the texture is on this, you can see that it has a bit of the same texture on the side that it's almost like, I don't know, it's a bit textured on the side. I don't know if this was the best one to show you. This video is making no sense at all. Did I have anyone where you can see that more clearly? Or maybe this one actually. Or you can just see that it's a bit textured. And that is the same way I see on some of those 
high-end comfort matte lipsticks and the same as the powder kiss by mac that is a good formula as well that should be in this video Ooh, that should be in this video i'll put a picture up here i don't know where i put mine i think it's in my purse i only have one but oh i love that formula it's so good i have mine in impulsive Oh, that's also a really good formula. I'm so looking forward to picking up one more color. I'm going to the Mac store every now and then, just swatching the colors to see like which one should be my second one because I love that formula. And I feel like these are pretty similar, but this is a bit more full on opaque, high impact color than the powder kiss because the powder kiss is more like you can blend it out to that inverted. Uh, ombre lip as well. I think it's super, super beautiful. The next formula I'm gonna mention is something that I swatched... When did I swatch it? I got the whole collection sent to me uh, in PR and it is the Lip Stories by uh, Sephora's own brand. I, I know in US they have 50 colors but here in Sweden, like in Europe, I only think they have 30 and I, I got all, all of them sent to me. Love them. Not the biggest fan of the crazy colors. I don't think that they made those that good. But all of the other, I'm using quotation mark, normal colors are spectacular. Even the purples. So good. These are some of my favorites. I'm going to mention this one first because this, I love, okay, like I said. All 50 colors are not available in Europe. But yet it says made in Italy on these. And can I just say that that is pretty funny? They make it in Europe and then it's not available in Europe. This is somewhere in Spain. Uh, I love the satin ones the most. I think all of these are satins. Yeah, all of these are satins. The mattes are pretty much exactly like these, uh, but they are a bit more shiny in the texture, like in the finish. This one is more matte in the finish, but they go on very opaque and they also have that bubbly texture outside on the uh, lipsticks. I love the satin finish because I love my glossy lips. This is somewhere in Spain. This is very pale, almost yellowish nude. This is not available uh, in Europe, which is funny because it's called Somewhere in Spain. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. This I bought when I was in New York. The last time I was in New York? Yeah, I think I bought this the last time I was in New York. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and uh, that is one of my most used ones. So if you're looking for a very almost yellow toned peachy light nude that is really beautiful this one is also really pretty this one is called we uh, and this is a pinky nude this will be almost this one do i have any space left uh, and it's also a cream look how beautiful that is oh i'm dying to use that one as well it's so beautiful and this is also a cream finish. The wee one is super beautiful. This is one that I think a lot of people would enjoy, no matter your like skin color, because I think that a lot of skin colors would be able to carry this one up. It's so annoying, the name isn't on the bottom. I keep looking for it, it's on top. It's called Spring Break. Look at this. It's just a bit darker than this one. This is like the androgyny color by Jeffree Star. It's just a beautiful, rosy bricky color that's oh it's so stunning i think that this is so beautiful and i think a lot of people would really enjoy that color and then i have to mention this one this is called yummy right yum yum it is a beautiful beautiful mid-tone creamy brown and i am running out of space Oh, this is so pretty. Like, this is like molten chocolate. And sometimes I really want a color like this. And this is so pink and beautiful. I have worn this on several occasions, actually. And that's not that usual for me when it comes to, like, darker browns like this. But I think it's so pretty. I actually got a good selection of colors. I do prefer my nudes. I do. And that is basically why this very pale glossy nude is my most used color of the year. But I do appreciate each and every one of these colors as well. And I love having nude lips with colorful eyes, but it doesn't have to be the same kind of nude. I, I, I move around in the nude spectrum and try different kinds of things. I think I talked about everything now. It was meant to be eight, but it was nine formulas. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because I'm going to put the MAC lipstick here down below as well. I think that was everything. Was there any new lip formula that you tried this year that you think is absolutely spectacular and people should know about? 
Let us know down in the comments. I love reading your comments and getting some tips and tricks for you. You always have the best tips and tricks about new products or application techniques or stuff like that. Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I do upload quite a lot of videos. It's five videos a week right now and I will see you in the next one. Bye!